Hi, I'm Kennedy Watt. And I'm Elias Watt. We live in New South Wales, Narrabrat, and we're here to talk to you about the impact of the drought. The impact on our family that the drought has had is Dad has to go around and travel a lot in the because that's his sort of job and when he has to, it just makes it even harder for Mum when she's working a lot and it's hard for us. It's real hard for Mum because she's obviously got to work when Dad's away but she's also got to take care of us, all of us four and that just makes it real hard for her and more frustrating. My business is called Wileave Town and we help lots of businesses to encourage the shop local message. So what I've seen, I guess, in the last sort of six to 12 months is really a, a lot of businesses uh, sort of putting off staff, a lot of businesses closing their doors and it's become really tough and uh, a lot of businesses don't have the money to invest in advertising or to stock new products and a lot of them are really finding it tough. Looking around town, I've seen that a lot of businesses have closed and it's really quiet. And on the streets, there's hardly any cars. And as Elias said, that the business has closed down a lot of them, and people are moving out of Narrabri real quickly. But around town, the drought has impacted real bad. Like across the road from us is where the kangaroos are, and then. You can just see the land, it's just all dark and no green grass and it's real hard for those kangaroos to find water and things like that. And we've had kangaroos coming across the road and and we've hit we've nearly hit some. And around town people's lawns are just yellow and dirty. Dry. And, yeah, and dead. The lake doesn't have much water in it. It's but it's even, been filling up a bit. It's not even a quarter fill but full though and it just makes it real hot. At least we've got a little water but we hope that it fills up. We've got friends that, and they've, they're farmers and it just makes it real hard for them and then when they have to do all this work when they're earning no money because they can't plant their crops and for people like Sydney kids, they don't know that this is happening to us right now. We want to try and get them involved. Most of them are just waiting for rain and when um, it's becoming difficult for them to, for them to even keep their doors open and so uh, it's really a huge impact out here but as I, I do a lot of travel around uh, New South Wales and, and some of the other states as well and it's a similar story uh, through most of, um, sort of regional Australia at the moment and on this part of the country and uh, I said they're just all sort of waiting for rain and hoping for rain. At school we've made like a farmer day and we dress up as farmers and all the kindies can dress up as little animals and we just have like a whole farmer day and we bring a gold coin donation and that goes for the farmers to help raise money for them and the drought. 